Action News Jax investigates local traffic signs on the ground instead of alerting drivers to nearby hazards. We found the signs at the in the area of Mandarin that's under construction, but neighbors say the signs have been like this for weeks. Cole Heath is investigating who's responsible. He's live in Mandarin, and Cole, you learned a construction project may be to blame. FDOT tells me they are looking into that, but here's the situation. This asphalt has been laid recently to put in a guardrail to protect cars from this culvert over here. And down below are the actual street signs warning drivers. They are not really doing their job right now, and we've been told that it's been like this for almost a month and a half. Driving down busy Old Field Crossing Drive, I saw the brake lights ahead of me of cars going around this curve near Mandarin's Chapelgate neighborhood. In the daylight, you can see these reflective signs alerting drivers to the curved road, laying flat on the ground by this large culvert. I counted at least five of them, including this 30 mile per hour speed limit sign right by where kids get off the school bus. It's very dangerous. No one would want their kid, you know, walking right there, especially with the sign down. Dad Lyle Scheidemann says he walks his kids by this area almost daily. You got to keep your eye on them all the time because it, definitely a lot lately. There's been a lot of wrecks over here. Neighbors tell me the warning signs have been grounded for six weeks. I also noticed this warning on the back of the sign saying it's unlawful to remove or detach any road sign and listed a hotline. Hi, this is Cole Heath with Action News. I called the listed number to report the issue and am waiting for a response. I also emailed FDOT specifically asking when crews will reinstall the traffic signs. A spokesman replied saying FDOT is looking into it as parents in this neighborhood wait for results. It's terrible because what if something's happened to one of these kids? I mean, they got a bus stop right there. I also asked FDOT specifically about the warnings on the back of these signs telling people not to remove them and whether or not that applies to FDOT crews. And as FDOT spokesman tells me that he is checking in with the legal department. He should have an answer tomorrow. Also working to confirm specifically it was an FDOT crew that actually removed these signs. Reporting live in Mandarin, Cole Heath, CBS 47 Action News, Jax.